Okay, and if he wants to. So now, it. ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our final bout, and this is the main event of the evening. Five three minute rounds of international super prestige full Muay Thai rules between and firstly introducing in the blue corner from Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring Zach Enerson. This is another classic Riddler's fighter just taking the bet, taking on the best fighters that they get on, but they never say no to a hard fight. Lloyd Dean is the same, you know, Barry from the gym, all their boys just take hard fights and they're fantastic fighters as a result of it, you know? Yeah, that, that's a gym that is so deep in talent, boys, yeah. both boys and, and girls. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, unbelievable. And they've got two absolute legends head, uh, ahead of that gym. Riddler and Kaylee Reese. Once again, ladies and, and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Zach Enerson. Yeah, like Riddler says, when his fighters are in the ring, they've got their 15, 20, 30 fight experience, plus his 70 fight experience, yeah. plus Kaylee's experience, plus all the other guys in the gym. That's, that's what's coming into the ring when these guys fight. That's absolutely. They're like a family. Um, Again, I, I said it earlier in the night, having training partners at that high caliber. And facing so, uh, Zach this evening, his opponent Riddler's in the red corner from Thailand. Ball. Ladies Top and gentlemen, please welcome sort of to the ring, okay, Superbank Mo Ratanabandi! And really shine. And here comes Superbank Mo Ratanabandi. Superbank is one of those fighters like many of these ties that if we played the entirety of their uh, highlight reel as they walked out, they'd never make it to yeah. the ring. He just has so many beautiful techniques that he's pulled off against the top opponents. That's the thing. He's not doing cool things against guys that aren't high caliber. He's doing it against the best in the business consistently every fight. The Once again, really ladies and gentlemen, well. in the red corner oh, from Thailand, well. Superbank Maratana Bandit. So this fight is at 61 kilograms, yep. five by three minutes. What can Zach do to surprise and shock the Muay Thai world? He's got to get on the front foot for sure. He covers distance quite well and he's got a really strong right hand, does Zach. And I think it's just going to be a matter of not being intimidated, not being overawed and just getting after uh, Superbank. He also has to maintain his balance very yeah. well in this fight. He has to throw his techniques when he's in a good position to yeah. throw techniques. Against a guy like Superbank that is so proficient with sweeps, if he throws kicks or he throws punches and he's not completely on balance and doesn't have a good grounding, he's going to go for a ride. Yeah. Yeah, that can definitely be demoralizing for any fighter to have to repeatedly pick themselves up off the canvas and it creates more self-doubt and more yeah. self-doubt in what you're doing results in more of the same thing happening to you and it's uh, it can be quite frustrating so yeah as someone that's for one of the legendary sweepers of the game Lutzilla I can tell you it is not fun you know you you almost get embarrassed being swept for the 30th time in a fight so it's it's the nature of the sport and it's something that you have to mentally prepare for ahead of the bout. Um, Riddler and his team always yeah. do their work, you know. I have no doubt that they have prepared him mentally and physically for this bout to the best of what they could have done. Um, but sometimes it's just a whole new ball game when you get in there with these guys. But it should be a great fight. I'm really looking forward to seeing how Zach does perform at this calibre, at this level.
Superbank is well known for having a beautiful runway, as you can see. Superbank is quite renowned for doing really, really quite cool runways, and tonight is no different. Lewis Regis and the Yokel, the whole team at Yokel, really have outdone themselves. We've said it countless times throughout the night, but I just really want to emphasize how much of a privilege it is to have this, these caliber fights consistently over a whole fight card or two fight cards in this instance. Yeah. Down in this part of the world, it doesn't happen often, you know. In Australia, we're fortunate that we have shows like Rebellion and this Yokel show and uh, Knees of Fury and Warriors Way, guys that consistently bring good fighters in, but this show tonight really is something else. Yeah, it's, it's been, it's had everything. Obviously, there's amazing card, it's a great venue, great production, and uh, I'm really happy to see that the Sydney crowds turned out to see this. Because, you know, like sometimes shows, if they don't have a lot of locals on, the crowd doesn't come. And there's a lot of fighters here from Thailand, yeah. from other parts of Australia, but we still have a pretty full house here. And I think a good sign that appreciation for the sport as a whole is growing. Like a lot of the people that are in the house tonight aren't just here to watch their mates, they're here to watch yep. elite level Thai boxing. And Zach's quite a young guy, isn't he? Yeah. 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 And he's standing there right now while Superbank is performing the Y crew. Right it's a long face crew. It. It's a long. You know, it's a long Y crew when the the track has to start again. But I think the um, the uh, Y crew in the uh, next generation fight yeah. at the start of the night was still longer. Yeah, that was a long one. That was a long Y crew. And they even tried to usher him out by changing the song. I think. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. It's good to hear the crowd cheering for the, the full round boy as well. Very good. Just showing good appreciation and good education. And that's exactly it, you know. The fact that the crowd has turned up when there aren't that many locals on. Yeah. The fact that they're cheering for the Waikou and that they, understand, they cheer when kicks and knees land as opposed to when punches miss. You know, it shows that they're an educated crowd. Yeah. And, and that's really great to see. And that, again, comes back, you know, a large amount of that kudos comes back to Lewis, Sai, you know, Mark, all, all these guys that are putting on quality Muay Thai shows and really growing the sport. Yeah. Thanks, Alec, Alexi. And that's, it comes back to you guys, the fighters, because now we are getting guys like you guys that are fighting all the time, taking the hard fights, not backing off and you're, you're the ones bringing the fans initially into these shows and getting them to fall in love with the sport of Muay Thai and you know brands like your cap SRG what, what we do in different states it it all adds up and hopefully it's, it is that education where people are learning all the different aspects of this sport learning about the clinch learning about the white crew round Muay, learning about the respect learning about the defense That was a treat. Interested to see. I've got to go to watch a junior judo competition tomorrow. I want to see if I see more more throws and dumps tonight or tomorrow in the whole day. It'd be Honestly, close. I couldn't tell you. We we will soon see. Some of them will be about the same weight as well. I'd say so. Here we go. Round number one. Main event of Yokel 40. You can see right away Zach is significantly the physically larger of the two. Zach's a very tall 61 
not freakishly tall, but yeah. definitely enough to have a height advantage. There we go. Throws that right hand straight away. Something we see quite often. Yeah. The Thai fighter in the south post stance. The uh, foreigner in the normal, tr traditional, orthodox stance. Makes for an interesting fight when you get the southpaw versus the orthodox. Superbank already landed a few of those left kicks so across the arms of Zach. Right kick back by Zach. Good check by Superbank. Low kick comes down to the back leg from Superbank. Concentration by Superbank. It looks like he's having fun in there all the time, but if you watch closely, you look that he's got complete concentration and understanding of what's happening. He understands the game so well, yeah. that's why he's able to do what he does, and there's a good left kick. Right? Beautiful left kick. Just glides around the ring, has changed back Changing to southpaw. Yeah, back to southpaw now. Certainly not going to make himself easy to hit. Good team again. Just controlling the distance, controlling the range and the tempo. A little bit lower, right on the yeah, belt yeah. line. Oh. And, and there's, there's the first wave. For the yeah. fight. Zach going hunting Very with nice. his left hook, right hand, and another left hook. That left hook landed well. Beautiful evasion of that high kick by uh, Zach just leaning back. It's fantastic to see. Superbank also try and do that cheeky back leg sweep the <laughs> yeah. as a follow up viral a uh, few months back. There we go. Zach gets one. Back. A little bit less extravagant, but nonetheless, own it. I'd count it as a one for one. I would absolutely count it as a one for one. Especially if I was Zach. Yeah. Right. Here we go, two for oh, Phenomenal balance. balance. Phenomenal, balance. Super phenomenal balance. Unbelievable. It's a nice feeling out round. They're not going hunting too much. They're seeing what each other has to offer. Fantastic balance again by Superbank. He's completely hanging on to the sack to the point where he's not even on the ground. Nice first nice round. Nice first round. Nothing much in it. Singdam standing in the corner behind Superbank giving advice. Yeah, it's always surreal looking over your shoulder and seeing someone like Singdam standing 10 meters away from you. I've been right following these Sydney. guys since I started my career 10 years ago. Yeah, it's, it's very surreal. It's quite cool. are always so receptive to their corners instructions as well but at the same time they're so aware of what they need to do they're they're so confident they're so comfortable between rounds because they've done it so many times it's, it's a, more of a conversation yeah shaking zones here we go round two of five round two Zach's still very, still very much measuring with his techniques here. Nice kick by Superbank. Just 
just a thing of beauty. It's Another outward. beautiful display of balance. You can see what happened, but you just don't know how it happened. Yeah. Good leaf kick, good tape. Nice control by Superbang. Nice good kick up over kick the arms. Isaac, yeah. yeah. Zach absolutely hasn't looked out of his comfort zone by any means so far. Oh. Cool. Again, Superbang makes Zach carry his weight. <laughs> and I love the hey, yeah, big double know knees was. from the side. The double knee, yeah, very cheeky. Evasion by anyway, Superbank from Zach's high right kick. It's very comfortable, just glides across the ring in and out of range. He knows exactly where he is and what he's doing. He's got a lot of control in there. He's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Another beautiful left body kick there. He's kind of landing that at will. Yeah, getting when he a good wants rhythm to. with those kicks. And just beautiful footwork by Superbank. He's got the left team going as well, and then shows good defense. Very nice. See, even though Zach's the, the one controlling the center of the ring, Superbank is the one that has the ring control despite fighting. Nice sweep by Zach. Despite fighting on the back foot, he's moving where he wants to. He, he's well aware of what he's doing. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that sometimes people might not understand about Muay Thai. Absolutely. Is it's not about who's in the center, it's about who has the fight where they want it to be. Exactly. Very nice takedown from the body lock from Superbank. Getting a talking to from Elias Elapsis. Testing out the hamstring flexibility of Zach. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look all that pleasant. Another technical round. Not a huge amount in this fight so far. I'd yeah. look to see the boys start to step it up coming into the third and fourth rounds next. Superbank just landing his left kick quite comfortably yes. there. Obviously, Zach's trying to land a little bit long, longer shots with his hands. I mean, that's his best chance, really. was telling him to just let those kicks go more. Yeah. But as we're used to, when the Thai fighters are in the ring, there's usually about 11 or 20 other Thai, yeah. uh, local Thai trainers yeah, I mean, and fighters are coming now, for advice. Yeah, if you look now, they're just rotating. They're just alternating. There's, there's a line of ties sitting about two meters back from the corner. And they're just alternating. Everyone comes in and says their piece. Here we go, round three of five. The main event of the evening, Superbank versus Zach. Second starts, round three. The pace you can see is already picked up a little bit. Jeez. 
just he places that left kick so beautifully Beautiful. and so effortlessly. He's mixed it up high on the arms, lower on the ribs. Now goes to the left knee to the body. It's just the placement, like like you say, that that's the real difference. You know, he's not throwing super hard shots, but he's placing them beautifully. Beautiful. Another one there after slipping that right hand comfortably earlier from Zach. And then he goes straight back to that left push kick to control the distance again and get back to where he needs to be. I think Zach's moral victory tonight's going to be the fact that he's managed to somehow get Superbank on, on the canvas a couple of times yeah. and avoided being put down as much as we thought he would be. Superbank ends up on the back of Zach there. Again, very beautiful left kick, and then Zach tries to return with the right kick. Doesn't quite land. Zach's starting to really pick up his pressure and work rate this round. Goes straight back at him again. It's that Riddler's never die attitude. They just walk forward, they clinch, they knee, they elbow, they punch, they kick, they do everything they can. Phenomenal balance by yeah. Superbank. They did land a good left hook in there. Superbank did get a talking to in the corner from Elias about his uh, use of that, that low body lock. Yeah. I mean, I think you can do that lo low body lock and drive him but you just can't flex the spine backwards yeah. and I guess that can be a bit of a fine line. Yeah, absolutely. Another left body kick landed by Superbank. Just evades the high right kick again. Evades another kick. Spinning back fist. And just defends those knees with his shin, shuts them down. It's not taking any damage, not absorbing any impact. Fighting a very smart fight at the moment is Superbank. Another good left kick. Zach like doing some work in that clinch. Some more beautiful evasion. Not a great left body kick. Right nice on kick bell. on the bell. Granted, it's clearly easier said than done, but I think Zach needs to look at different ways to start putting his shots together, whether that's through faking, through throwing punches and bunches, finishing with a kick. Uh, he needs to start doing something to get in, close that distance. Corner will be well aware that he's a little bit behind at the moment, or he certainly is behind at the moment. So Riddler will be, he's always composed in the corner, well, at the moment. Um, so I think he will be giving him the word saying that you need to go in, you need to do a little bit more. But in a way that seems to be received well by Zach. So let's see what he can do this next round. Yeah, I mean, really want to see Check to get Zach to figure something out to get Superbank out of first gear, really. Yeah. yeah. Round four. It's coming out aggressively again, Zach. 
But you see Superbank's movements, he jars in a little bit and everyone is like a fake. So it makes, it disrupts Zach's rhythm. Rhythm, yeah, it doesn't let him get set. Another beautifully placed left kick, shin right across the torso. Good right hand to right the body. comes through a couple nice. of times there. But then Superbank gets the back. Two. It's kind of fascinating to watch how little Superbank actually has to move to execute his techniques. Yeah, his eff efficiency of yeah. movement's phenomenal. And even whenever he, uh, that happens and his kick's caught, he regains his balance and fires off again straight away. No problem. The big thing is the distancing, right? So Superbank is standing at a perfect kicking range, whereas Zach has to come in to close to land his kicks because Superbank glides back a little bit outside of range and that's the difference in how they're landing their kicks. Superbank is where he needs to be and then where Zach doesn't need him to be. See he's plotting forward now but he's still able to pop back if need be. Doubles the kick up nicely. See he's coming back, he's now out of distance. That good knee just keeps landing every time he throws it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sweep. Superman ends up on the back again. Riddler calling for Zach to step in, do a little bit more. Another takedown out of that clinch. Very smooth by Superbank. Just, again, like we said, effortless. Just beautiful transitions by Superbank. Lovely work, lovely evasion into where he wants to go. Just almost sees things before Zach yeah. knows he's going to throw him. Very technical fight. It's not huge. Oh, it's a beautiful balance. If you look oh, at that. beautiful balance. Very technical fight by both yeah. fighters. It's not a grueling fight like uh, the fight that we... He's winning by almost literally just throwing his left leg. Yeah. You know, he's got that much control and understanding of the distancing and the, the balance, and he has the power and the timing to be able to land his left kick or his left knee in some instances at will, his team. You know, that he's shutting down a very competent fighter in Zach simply by controlling the distance and the timing and the space. Fifth and final round, Zach has a lot of work to do if he wants to win this fight, but I'm sure he will do everything that he's able to to try and get this victory. Here we go, the last round Ladies for the Ladies and gentlemen, please get in both fighters as we move into the fifth and final round. Row five. Let's see if Zach just goes for broke here. I'd like to see Zach cut off the ring a little bit better yeah. as opposed to just following Superbank. 
I think that's giving Superbank a lot of space to be able to do what he wants to do, whereas if Zach drifted to his right, yep. as opposed to Chase... He go, he's going in too deep. He's exactly. just being aggressive, but... I wouldn't mind seeing him try to counter with something different after the left kick as well because he keeps throwing that looping right hand and obviously Superbank's cottoned onto that by now and is evading it relatively easy. So if he tries something different, he might have success. Or he might not, but I still think... It's just as a game of chess game of chess that hurts. Superbank just nullifying everything Zach doing right. He gets around there so yeah, effortlessly. And it's not even as much about where he moves as how well he understands where Zach is going to move. Couple of good knees from yeah. solid Back knees. Superbank taking that half a second longer. Just kill as much time as he can. Yeah, like you said, nice every beating. left kick to the body has been an attempted counter with an overhand from Zach. Yeah. Zach doing some of his best work with Nice uh, in this round. Another, Another thing that we haven't seen too much from Zach this fight is staying on the outside of the lead leg. So when you fight a southpaw, you want to be drifting almost or exclusively, not necessarily, but you want to remain on the outside of the leg because the southpaw can get their left leg across your body a lot easier if you're standing in on the inside of the leg. And you yes. can see Superbank is fighting with his foot on the outside of the leg, his leg on the outside of Zach's leg, leg a little bit better than Zach is. But I think that comes a little bit back to what you were saying about just the direct linear sort of forward aggression from Zach. Absolutely. Superbank just looking like he's doing this effortlessly. Beautiful performance by Superbank. And it was what we came to, we, we, we were expecting from Superbank. Yeah. He looked extremely comfortable in there. And hats off to Zach. This is a matchup that only came up in the last sort of three weeks. Yeah. And he stepped in and, uh, and it wasn't a fight a lot of people were keen to take. Exactly. It's a tough fight. Fighting evasive ties is in my opinion, far harder than fighting grinding ties and grinding sort of grueling yeah. fights. It's so frustrating not being able to hit someone. It's it's demoralizing. But Zach did well to continue trying. Um, I think he'll go back to the drawing board and he'll become a better fighter as a result of this. Absolutely. Of, uh, the experience, like we've said, is invaluable competing at this level. Center back centering. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time this evening, please, your appreciation for both fighters. <laughs> and after the full five rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favor of your winner in the red corner, Superbank, Mo Ratanabandi. No surprises there. Well done, And your appreciation, please, for challenge. Zach yeah. And uh, thank you, Superbank, for showing us 
Some amazing Muay Thai. Zach? And I suppose that, that will do us. It was a work of art. It was something beautiful. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the fights tonight as much as we did. Thanks for to all the fans who came to the show live and created the amazing atmosphere we had tonight. And, of course, thanks to Yokao and SRG Promotions for an incredible evening of Muay Thai. Get in touch with Alexi Serapisos on Instagram and book yourself a seminar wherever you are in the world. Get out Rebellion Muay Thai so on Facebook, and Instagram and YouTube. The, the channel's expanding show, week in and week out. SLG and follow and Enter the Double Dragon, Dragon podcast on so iTunes and we'll catch you next time. Fighters, see you guys. Supporting the event and we hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.